welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time we're going to take a look at this, the Vision 5 single board computer from Star 5, which is a trailblazing piece of technology because this has got a RISC-V processor that can run a full Linux operating system. And in case you're not in the know, RISC-V is a free and open instruction set architecture, or ISA, that provides an alternative to the closed ISAs used in today's x86 and ARM CPUs. So what we have here with the Vision 5 isn't just a new single board computer, and that's always exciting, but more broadly, this is one of the first lower cost computers of any kind that can run a desktop operating system on a CPU with an open instruction set architecture. So let's go and take a closer look. Right, here we have the Vision 5, which has been created by Star 5, which is a company dedicated to promoting RISC-V in high-performance computing, and Star 5 are a manufacturer of RISC-V processors. Star 5 has launched this board to help promote the RISC-V ecosystem, so this is very much an SBC for developers and others who wish to pioneer on the RISC-V frontier. I purchased the board as part of a starter kit from Allnet for $179, and the other things included in the kit were this, which is a little active cooler, which also has some push pins to attach it to the board, and there was also included this, which is a micro SD card, as you can see, a 64 gigabyte card, and this is pre-flashed with a RISC-V version of the Fedora Linux distro, which of course we'll be testing out on the board later in the video. So, Let's release Division 5 from its packaging. Looks nice and straightforward, even for me. Just take off the uh, cardboard and, oh, it's the wrong way around. There we are, and a little uh, latch, and ha-ha! This is always the exciting bit, isn't it? Taking out a new single board computer. And where are we? Oh, I get too excited. There we are, a brand new single board computer, and not just a brand new single board computer, the first one I've ever owned with a RISC-V processor, which we can see down on the board there. Specifically, the SOC here is a Star 5 JH7100. This is dual core with two 1 GHz RISC-V Sci-5 U74 64-bit cores. Sci-5 is a leading designer of processors based on the RISC-V instruction set architecture, and as we can see here on their website, a U74 core is a member of the Sci-5 Essential family. This is divided into three performance series, as well as the three categories E, S, and U. Here, E and S are 32-bit and 64-bit cores for embedded devices, whilst U cores are 64-bit and capable of running fully featured operating systems such as Linux. As we can see, the U74 core is part of the highest performance 7 series of the Essential family, with a comparable ARM core being an A55. In addition to its two U74 cores, the JH7100 contains a 600MHz Tensilica VP6 Vision DSP, or Vision Digital Signal Processor, otherwise known as a VPU, as well as a 500MHz neural network engine and an 800MHz NVDLA. NVDLA stands for NVIDIA Deep Learning Accelerator and is a free, open-source neural network AI accelerator created by NVIDIA. As all of this signals, this SBC, and indeed a great deal of other RISC-V hardware right now, is targeted towards AI applications and the emerging Artificial Intelligence of Things, or AIoT. And if you're wondering what all of this is about, I'll be covering it in a forthcoming RISC-V Explaining Computers video. Back with the Vision 5, whilst the specification of the SOC here is new to many of us, the remaining hardware components are pretty familiar. Specifically here on the top of the board, we've got 8GB of low-power DDR4 RAM in these two 4GB RAM chips, and we've also got a wireless module which gives us 2.4GHz Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.2. 
Next, on the front edge, we find a 3.5 millimeter audio jack and four very welcome USB 3 Type-A ports. Next to these, we then got a vertically mounted full-size HDMI connector offering 1080p output at up to 60 frames a second, and then a gigabit Ethernet port, and finally a USB-C port for powering the board. And specifically, a 5 volt 3 amp adapter is recommended. On the first short edge, we then find a MIPI DSI or Display Serial Interface Connector for connecting an LCD display. And then down in front of the wireless module, just down here, we've got one of those tiny wireless antenna connectors. Rotating 90 on the second lung edge, we find a 40 pin GPIO connector with a standard Raspberry Pi layout, and then a header for PoE, power over ethernet, and then a header for debug, as well as a couple of indicator LEDs and switches. And the switches are for reset and boot mode. Last but not least, the second short edge boasts a 2-pin 5-volt fan connector and two MIPI CSI or camera serial interface connectors, allowing two cameras to be connected to the Vision 5. Finally, if we turn the board over, there's not a lot to see underneath. In fact, there's only really a micro SD card slot into which I'm going to fit the card that came in the starter kit, the one that contains Fedora for a RISC-V, and so now all I've got to do is to fit the cooler and we can boot the Vision 5 into Linux. Greetings, here I am back again, and I've now mounted the cooler, as you can see, plugged in its fan as well. And if you're thinking, do we really need a heatsink with a fan on this board? Probably not, but I always applaud caution when it comes to cooling, particularly on a developmental piece of hardware. And I've also, as you can see, used some uh, standoffs to raise the board off the surface and plugged in all the usual gubbins. So let's turn on the power. And here we go. Let's go across to the HDMI output which is initially black, as you can see, but if we speed on a bit, something will appear on the screen. There we are, we're clearly on a live computer. And I should let you know this is not my first boot. I've been experimenting with the Vision 5 now for some time, but still, every time I boot it up, I am surprised and amazed because here we're booting a full desktop operating system on a computer that doesn't have an x86 processor, an Intel or an AMD processor. It doesn't have a processor based on an ARM design. It has something else, a RISC-V processor, a processor where the instruction set architecture is free and open. And I do find this very interesting. This is really significant in the, the potential future of computing. Anyway, we've now arrived at a login screen, as you can see, and the default password, I haven't changed it, is star five, if I've typed that right. Looks like I have. We can see clearly we're running on the Vision 5 because I've got a picture of the board on the screen, as you can see, as uh, everything comes up. We're clearly running Fedora, a remix of Fedora, for a RISC-V computer. And this works pretty well. You'll notice it's a little bit sluggish here and there, but basically it works okay. Let's bring up, for example, the file manager down there, which uh, comes up like that. Hey, file manager in RISC-V. You can see I'm very excited by this. And uh, if we go across to applications, there are various things pre-installed. Remember this board is for development purposes and what's here very much reflects that. But we do have down here, for example, uh, HTOP, so we can look at what's going on on the system. Let's bring that up and uh, move it across a little bit. I always do like that. Oh, there's the stuff. And we can see we've got our two cores represented here at the top. We've got what about 469 megabytes of memory used out of our total of eight gigabytes. So lots of memory free to do exciting things on this board. And uh, talking of exciting things, shall we run up a web browser? You've got to be able to run up a web browser on a desktop operating system. Let's go down to uh, internet and run up Firefox like that. Very exciting. It'll take a second to uh, come up. And while it's taking a second to come up, I want to point out that whilst this is a development board, I've not had any issues getting it up and running. Oh look, we're going into Firefox. There we are, there's Firefox. Let's again move it around as I always do. 
It's trying to get to explaining computers. Hopefully it'll manage to load explaining computers. It can, that's a marvelous thing. And over here, we've got to RV space, which I think stands for Risks 5 space. And certainly it's a support forum and pages provided by Star5 for this single board computer and for their other Risk 5 products. And as I was saying, I've had no issues getting this board up and running. It's been far easier to get working and to be recordable for a video than many of the ARM-based SBCs I've reviewed on this channel over the years. And the reason for that is that Star5 do support the board very well here in a RV space, as you can see now it's loaded in. There's lots of really useful documentation here. So if you do want to join the revolution and start running a full desktop Linux operating system on lower cost RISC-5 hardware, then I can certainly report that the Vision 5 is a good place to start. Now, I've been experimenting with software installation, just to see which packages have already been ported to run in Linux on RISC-V hardware. And for a start, I've got Audacity installed and running, as you can see here. And this does work, although right now there isn't HDMI audio out on the Vision 5. We've only got output of audio from a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, but it does work. I can play this file. There we are, we've got a Audacity running on the system. And I've also installed GIMP. Oh dear, it wants us to say, do we want to save the project? No, I don't want to save the project. We spend our lives answering these messages, don't we? Anyway, I've also installed, as I said, GIMP, the GNU image manipulation program. This will take a second to come up, so we'll speed on through until the program has launched. And here we are, arriving in GIMP on a RISC-V computer. It makes things feel a bit familiar, doesn't it, to see a program like this running on the RISC-V hardware. So let's do what I always do as a test in GIMP. We'll do a new document, if I can remember where it is, right at the top, Chris. And uh, here we are, and we'll do a 1920-1080 document like that. And I'm also going to go into filters. Some of you will be way ahead of me here. Filters and render and Lava is my standard test because it takes a little while to execute. And I'm sure some of you want to know, how does the Vision 5 compare currently to, for example, the performance of a Raspberry Pi 4? Which is not really a fair comparison because running Linux here on this RISC-V hardware is very, very new, but the comparison is still interesting. So what I'm going to do is to bring up exactly the same setup on a Raspberry Pi, and we'll use the magic of filmmaking to start them both off applying the filter at the same point in time. There they go. And we'll uh, speed on forward until the Pi has finished applying the filter. And there we are, the Pi has completed. The Vision 5 is still going. We knew it would come second in this test, but we'll let it complete. And there we are, the Vision 5, my first RISC 5 computer, has applied a complex GIMP filter. Right, just before I bring this first part of our journey into RISC 5 to a close, I'm sure some of you have been writing in the comments already, does it game? Can we play games on a RISC 5 computer? And you'll be pleased to hear that Star5 do provide some instructions for this. And earlier I went through them to install Quake on this computer. And I've got it up here if I go to the terminal like that. And if we execute that command, we can bring up Quake. Here it is, playing an old game on a very, very new type of computer. That's good, isn't it? Shall we put the terminal up out of the way a second whilst this is going on? Shall we do that? There we are, we've got get Quake here now. And if we just... Uh, Press that and do a single player game and a new game. We are playing games on a RISC V machine. There we are. I don't really know how to play this game, but uh, it is amazing, isn't it? We're actually wandering around in a very old game and uh, on a very, very new type of computer. Oh, there's some lava there. It looks a bit worrying. Dearie me, don't think I can go over there. Can I go over there? Oh, no. That didn't work very well, did it? Anyway, we've uh, proved a point it is already possible to game on a RISC-V computer.
pioneering hardware like the Vision 5 has the potential to lead us into a new era of open computing. To explain what this is all about and what it may mean, I'll soon be posting more RISC-V videos, including further hardware reviews, as well as broader explanations of what RISC-V is all about. But now that's it for another video. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, please press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I hope to talk to you again very soon.